Welcome back to the channel and thank you for being here. Just to say, this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy and they've got a new bundle called Zero to Hero which offer five training packs in one package. That is IFR, VFR, Jetliner, Navigator and Commander. Priced at $69.99, this represents roughly around 40% discount from the full lineup with a total of 60 training missions produced by a real world airline captain. All the links for FS Academy will be in the description below. Anyway, it's now time to get into today's video. If there's one thing people in VR want the most, it is to be able to see your flight controls. But that's not always so easy, as you know, because you need perhaps a green screen or special external software to be able to mask your controls. Well, this is where a new program called SimXR comes into it. This can, in real time, mask any shape that you want. This is the Quest 3, and as you can see here, I'm about to show you something pretty mind-blowing. I'm going to mask out, in real time, in MSFS, my controls. That's right, folks. No longer do you need any special software. You don't even need to import a special OBJ file. This can be all done within Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now this very simple but clever utility is by a chap called Roy who is the acclaimed FS Realistic developer and a massive thank you to Roy for reaching out and providing a beta copy of SimXR before the release. And perhaps even more exciting than that, I'm going to give away three copies of SimXR. So please do give Roy a shout out in the comments below and maybe give him a reason why you would use this in your own sim rig. And if you get a reply from VR Flight Sim Girl, then congratulations, you've just won a free copy. Now there are five different windows. You can see there I'm just showing you my Stormforce computer that powers all of my videos. And here I'm just masking a shape around my Cytec trim wheel and because of the awkward placement I often fumble around for it but you can see here now I can look down and see exactly where it is. Now the way I'm using it today is quite rudimentary and I can imagine that people watching this will have some fantastic ideas in ways in which they can use this and let me tell you there's nothing like seeing your controls in VR and having a window into the real world but brought into the VR experience it's quite incredible and here I'm just showing how you can actually make any shape you want and especially for cockpit builders or those of you who have external devices say the G1000 units on your desk you could feasibly take out the VR representation like I am here and then add in your actual GPS or G1000 unit. And here, as you can see on the left hand side, this is Roy himself masking out precisely the instrument panel from a beaver. And one thing I really do love about this program is you can be very precise with the masking. I must admit, I've never seen anything quite like this before. And I really love how you can do this in real time. Look at that. <laughs> As you can see here, I've just done a simple square shape, but you can do anything you want. There are, however, some limitations with this, and that is, unfortunately, at the moment, you cannot save the masking between sessions. Now, you can see here, um, it does remember the actual shape, but the trouble is, with a Sobo, we need to get on Sobo for this, is the VR positions and windows don't seem to stay exactly where they are. That is a great shame and something that I hope can be fixed in time. So I'm just now reaching for the trim wheel again and it's exactly where it was before. I like how it does stay in position even when you move your head and when you look outside the aircraft you don't see the windows at all. So in order to do this in virtual desktop you need to make sure that you've got your VR pass through enabled and then red and blue need to be at 255 and smoothness you can play around with this but I recommend starting at 5% and by the way here are my virtual desktop settings in case you're wondering. I am using godlike mode due to my graphics card. You can even make sure that your dog in this case Doris is fast asleep as you're simming. Look at her, bless her. She's actually just had a operation, so please do send her some well wishes in the comments below. And I've got to say also that the pass-through 
in the Quest 3, since the latest update is very, very good, I can read my phone and here I am checking out my Discord and I'm sending a message to everybody uh, in the Quest 3 section. You are more than welcome to join the Discord, it's completely free and we are a great community over there. So it is fair to say that SimXR does have some limitations, particularly when you cannot save your positions of Windows. It is quite quick and snappy, but I must admit, if you've got something very intricate to mask every time, it will soon get quite annoying. But I do really like where this is going, and I did say in my first impressions video with the Quest 3 that I've got a feeling a clever developer is going to step up and provide some really good mixed reality capabilities for MSFS, and it looks like it's now happening. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this particular program and don't forget to send Roy a shout out in the comments below if you'd like to win a free copy of this software. Thank you so much for watching as always, I really appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.